Joining us now, someone who's done his share of push-ups in the Marine Corps, Joey Jones. Uh, Sergeant, you're also uh, a, a recipient of the Purple Heart, so you have, uh, you have gone into battle, you have borne the brunt of uh, duty for our country. We thank you both for your service and for being with us today on America's Forum. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. So tell us about the whole concept of push-ups for charity and how you came to be involved with this organization. Absolutely. So I'm actually a double above the knee amputee. I lost both my legs in Afghanistan in 2010. And after I started walking again in 2011, I was just riding down the road and I heard on the radio there was this organization called the Boot Campaign. And their goal was to get all 300 million Americans whether wearing combat boots or doing something to show they supported the military. And I understood at that point how vitally important it was for our society to accept, embrace, and understand, especially those coming home wounded, but those coming home in general. It's pretty tough to be an American these days, much less to put your life on pause for three or four years to serve your country, then try to catch up in a career field. So that's how I became involved with the boot campaign. Push Us for Charity is a movement that we administer all over the country. We let people sign up to be a host, and in their gym or their home, their church, their VFW post, they get together and they do push-ups for 90 seconds. They create a CrowdRise account online and ask people to donate to the push-ups they do. So uh, you get your exercise and at the same time help a good cause. Joey, you mentioned, and, and, and this is interesting, you, you paid a price personally defending our country, going into harm's way, and it's changed your life uh, yet you, you just by talking to you for these few minutes, it seems that you're focusing on the positive and trying to make things better for your fellow veterans as they come home. Tell us where the funds in these, in these push-ups, where they will go and what your organization will, will do with the funds raised from push-ups for charity. Absolutely. First off, it's not hard at all to focus on the positive in life. I, I don't understand how people don't wake up ecstatic every morning just because they're here and they're alive and what they can do that day is really only limited by their own self or by their own mind. So that's, that, it's, an easy, it's an easy gig for me. I, I love life to the fullest. So the money that we raise with Push Ups for Charity comes into the programs administered by the Boot Campaign. We have three pillars, three things we try to do. We try to raise awareness, we try to promote patriotism, and then lastly, we try to provide assistance to those veterans and military servicemen and women that are in need. Some of the uh, programs we do is Spaces of Our Freedom, where we take a cohort or a group of wounded warriors, uh, surviving spouses, returning veterans, and we take them to a city like Hollywood or Dallas or New York. We find interesting things in that city to do with them, to introduce that city to them, but then we also do community service exercises to let the people in charge of that city or influential in that city see who is paying the price for that city to be so wonderful. It's been a, a really good experience. Some of the other programs we do is called our Military Relief Fund, MRF. Anyone, anyone that's a veteran or active duty service member having served in any generation of war can apply on our website at bootcampaign.com forward slash MRF for urgent financial assistance, whether it be a plane ticket to visit mom and dad or $300 to fill your propane tank. We've been able to do a lot in that uh, arena of filling a gap that isn't filled by the DOD or VA. And Joey, <laughs> as we hear uh, the situation that, that, you, uh, that you're living, as we hear about veterans in need, I, I wanna get back to specifically how people can help with the charity, but just in your opinion, you know, back when I was a kid and veterans were returning from Vietnam, sadly, they came home to a polarized nation with um, not a lot of gratitude shown to them. Now we have an all volunteer force, but we have, we have those who returned earlier from Iraq and those now coming home from Afghanistan. Joey, uh, is it your perception, is there a deficit of gratitude or are people returning from theaters of combat still welcomed with open arms by their fellow Americans? I think the term deficit doesn't really apply, and I'll tell you why. Um, for one, this is the country of forgiveness. So what happened in the 60s uh, and early 70s was absolutely atrocious, but it's time to forgive and show, show a reason to forgive and forget. And uh, so that's why at this juncture, what we're trying to do is not 
it's not necessarily we need more gratitude in this country. It needs to be pointed in the right direction. It needs to be focused and utilized. So that's what we're trying to do now. In my opinion, this country is very grateful for those men and women who serve because they know the expectations of society are a four-year degree, a six-year degree, a doctorate, not four years in the military and going to war. So they know the, the large price that these young men and women pay just to serve their country, and they do it voluntarily. So at the end of the day, I believe this country is grateful. I just believe we all live such a busy life, such a hustle and bustle, and we're all focused on our coffee being too hot or traffic being too thick, that we don't take the time to realize the positives in our life and then recognize those fighting, literally fighting to keep it that way. So, Joey, about a minute and a half remains. If people want to donate to your organization, I think you touched on it briefly a second ago, but let's reiterate how fellow Americans can help you in this cause. Absolutely. My event tomorrow is called the Final Push, where we're, on, where we're in Washington, D.C. at the Lincoln Capitol doing push-ups. If you'll go to pushupsforcharity.com, you'll see a splash page that says Donate Now to the Final Push, and that's the easiest way. All the money raised by Push Ups for Charity comes into the boot campaign, and we use that money to administer our programs. So pushupsforcharity.com. Got pushupsforcharity.com. I also noticed that you have uh, the boot campaign going on. A whole lot of celebrities. If I want to get my size 14 boots and join the boot campaign, how do I do that, Joey? Absolutely. It's real easy. Go to our website, bootcampaign.com, and there'll be a nice uh, button there at the top left that says shop. All right, shop. My bride loves to shop, and occasionally I'm inclined to do so, too, for such a good cause. Joey Jones, again, we thank you for your service uh, in the Marines and your continuing service on behalf of our nation with and for your fellow veterans. It's great to have you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Joey Jones, positive message coming out. Your thoughts on helping the military once they get home. Tweet us at Newsmax.com, hashtag America's Forum.